on guys, JoeFilmGRC.com. Welcome and today, big thanks to Kyosho, my salesman, Efren. So thank you for sending this out so we could show it to all you guys. We got the Kyosho Dodge Charger 1970 Supercharged VE. On 10 scale, four wheel drive, that VE stands for brushless. We're gonna see how fast this thing goes today. So we're gonna be running two different batteries here. One being a 50C discharge, it's a 5200 milliamp, and then we have 5000 milliamp and it's 175C discharge. I went ahead already soldered on an XT90. So the car comes with a Dean connection. At the very end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the upgrades that you can get. So, uh, links down in the description below. So if you do wanna get one, we are taking pre-orders on this vehicle as of right now. We're expecting them to come in late, mid to late March. So you can see that how is. this car is packaged and I'll do the unboxing now. Let's get going. First up, we're going to be running the 5200-50C discharge battery. Obviously, again, XT90 plug I have soldered onto it. So, got our GPS right here. Notice where it says dual rate? I have that turned down almost all the way because at high speeds, it'll turn too fast and it'll make the car flip over. Okay, so first run, 37 miles an hour. Let's see if we can try the other battery and see if it's any faster. All right, now we're running the max amp, 5,000 milliamp, 175C. We'll see if it makes it any different as far as that 37 miles an hour. One more pass. It's full throttle. As you can tell, same exact speed, didn't matter anything with the C rating. Again, that electronic speed control is only gonna take so much anyway. There you go, that's its top speed. You know, it may vary a little bit where you're at. Inside the box here, it shows a battery. There's no battery, no charger included, but uh, this thing can run on a 2S LiPo, that's 7.4 volts, or you can get a nickel metal hydro battery, check your instructions, that's 7.2. So uh, yeah, check that information out. Got our 60 amp electronic speed controller, our 4,000 kV brushless motor, our shocks with aluminum caps on it, the shock ends, there are shorter ones that come in the package, so you can drop this car down a little bit if you desire. At the front of it, the grill can open and close if you get a separate micro servo. I'm gonna do a video on that too. So yeah, you can open and close that. It's pretty sweet, so look out for that video coming soon. LEDs for this car too, not included. There's the part number. 10 LEDs on this thing, so four up front, six in the rear. Then we have our little dummy brake. It's just an offset. So get that front grill in your face. This looks good. A little supercharger action. Yeah, the body post. Yeah, I know. Eventually those things will go away. I'm sure Kyosho will be like, hey, we came out with something for all you guys. We know we come out with some pretty nice looking scale bodies. And now, no body post. Sweet. All right, our little windshield wipers, just one mirror. I had a car, I had a CRX that only had the one, went right to the junkyard pretty quick, took care of that problem. But I know that's the way some of the old cars came. So yeah, you can barely see the disc brake in there and caliper. Can still see inside. Um, there you go, fill her up with just electric juice. Let's take a look at the back here. The old California Kyosho license plate. And eventually when I get those LEDs, those six LED red lights that'll be in the back here, it's gonna be pretty bright. Looking real good. Let's take a look at what's underneath it. There you go as far as 
the six LED light buckets. It's just a screw that holds the cover so you can open and close that so you can see the actual headlight. So after removing that screw, now if I flip this over, it can wink at you. So yeah, with all the hardware. So speaking of hardware, let's get into it. This is gonna be what you're gonna need. Here's the servo dimension. So you guys are like, hey, I'm gonna, I already pre-ordered one. What are the servo dimensions right there, buddy? There you go as far as how it's all done. So there's all the upgrades. So yeah, we'll just do it that way. So you can see all those upgrades. So in case you're looking for a particular upgrade, there are all the part numbers. Yay! <laughs> yeah, all those wheels. Even got bodies here because this is the bodies. You'll see this, the chassis is the, it's a longer chassis. So it's the FZ02L. So this is the long chassis. So these are all the bodies that are longer than the normal, like my Mercedes. I'll show you that one. It's a little beat up, but I can show you that. Here's all the part numbers. I know it's a longer video, but Bear with me on this one. I'm trying to show you as much as possible on here. All right, looking at your instructions. So you get a little spanner wrench, pretty cool. You get your little hex tools here. So they give you a lot of little tools, so it's pretty, pretty nice. These two are gonna be parts to just allow the car to be spaced out a little bit further, like I already mentioned, so that's nice. And here, different servo horns. So they have like a 23, a 24 all that good stuff, servo spacer that you see right here, it's in this bag. Nice, uh, the shock ends to shorten the shock ends on the bottom of them. So that's pretty nice, you can lower that car down as they show here, those are the little shorter ones that are in the bag. And then there's your little spacers also. So four double A's for your radio, I didn't mention that anyway. There's a little binding plug. You, all right, and then you got this here, this is gonna be for your headlights. All right, let's get to the car. So to the car. Underneath this thing, man, really cool. So we already know a little spacers, aluminum caps. It's your little bump stop for your steering so it only goes so far. So there you go, aluminum drive shaft. So that's a little upgrade that they've done just to kind of support that little bit of mo power, baby. Uh, for the shorter ch chassis, because I'll kind of give you an example here. This is a car, well, they sent this to me. This was Kyosha, they sent it over a year ago. Uh, going about 60 miles an hour, got a little bit airborne and uh, flipped over. But what I wanna show you is that you can see like, okay, for this car is the shorter chassis because it doesn't line up. Just to let you know that there are two different MK2 chassis phasers. I mean, you can tell like plastic chassis, it is a nice chassis. The only thing I will say, after you run your car for a while and if it's low to the ground, goodbye Velcro. So I guess that would be one thing, another thing that'd be kind of nice somehow to incorporate that so it's like on the inside. So this isn't, now it wouldn't be dragging like this uh, when you have a battery, they'll be pretty tight, but it still catches on things. Trust me, it does because mine got all worn down right in here and then it just destroyed my Velcro strap. So Kyosho, that'd be another thing I would suggest is somehow making that Velcro strap on the inside and not hanging out on the outside of it because definitely your Velcro strap won't last as long. That's my personal experience. And then I'll show you too, it's like six screws. You got screw here, screw here, screw there. There's one right there. And then these are two longer screws. And this thing will lift up. Now it's 32 tooth pinion gear. Then you can tell it's a plastic spur gear. So yeah, on and off switch. You guys know I appreciate all you guys for watching. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more running video of this car. This is a lot of fun. My friend Sean and I, we were out there and uh, just ripping it up. So. We'll have more videos of this, so if anything I did miss or anything like that, definitely drop a comment below. Until next time, you guys take care. Thank you again for watching. Roll that clip with all the little action going on and the dog chasing. It was pretty fun. See you guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Peace. Big Sean. <laughs>